Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Isaac Magic Trading Community. I believe that we had some nice trades last this week. It has been very good. I can see that people are taking the pound and the ZAR. The pound, um, the pound us and the USD ZAR and then USD when I call it up in the telegram. And I see that a lot of trades are heading up in our way. So we're going to keep a great strong mind and strong head for this time. Okay. So we we'll start with, um, I'm going for potential setups, not to run everything. This is the pound uh, New Zealand, Euro New Zealand. On the daily time frame, we are looking for the sell. It's a very good sell setup here. Okay. Very, very good sell setup. This is the whole thing. So any correction, we are going to sell. This is what we are waiting for. What he did here, he's going to do one way or another, some way, somehow around here. OK, so let's see how it goes. And look for sell setups. This is my target. My target is here. We reached the killer wave. So keep looking for the downside from now. Every potential setup that you're going to have, just press sell. So here is it now. We are, this is four hour. It's still downside. One hour. It's still downside. So 15 minutes time frame. We are waiting for correction. Any pullback you're going to get from here. We don't need to break this top. We don't need to break this top. Because it's making low high, lower, high, lower, high, lower, high, okay? So keep your eyes on this. When we get to this section, you take your money. The sell is going to make a correction. So you take the money from here. It's not support or resistance, okay? It's a, a we call it money zone. So keep your eyes here until we get here. You take your money, you get the correction, and then we drop again. If you want to hold it, you hold it. Okay, now the next setup is going to be, let's go to pound oils, the ones that we already milking it at the moment this week. Um, Aussie, Aussie, New Zealand oils as well, Aussie, New Zealand. We are, we were, if you look at this setup was posted for time, and we, we exactly know what he's been doing for the past three weeks. We've been observing this, and he did here. We keep our wave riders. We are here back again. Double tops, you get the lower here. Last night, I personally wanted to take this, but I took a different trade instead of this. So this is coming back to this level. When you reach here, you get double top here, you take a sell. I will not advise anybody to take a buy now because it's very, very small buy. You don't need this buy. Look for the sell when you reach the top here. You're going to get an impulse in 15 minutes correction, and this is what you want. I have my alert here to alert me to look for sale. So don't buy, but look for sales. It's a very few pips left, maybe 12 o'clock UK time or two hours now. You might be able to get that. It's making this pullback to this level. It will break here, touch here. Then we are coming down, OK? So keep your eyes on this sell coming. It's very good potential, good sell. Okay, um, Aussie card. I will start from the top. Aussie card also is in the um, the same buy section. All the Aussie pairs are having a potential buy setup. So every correction, wait for correction of this one and buy. If I see any potential ready trade now, I will let the room. You will take it together. It's, it seems it's, the market is quite a bit slow, just making correction here for the buyers. So let's keep an eye on every single pullback you're going to have for the Aussie. So if you want to take a buy, wait for the trade to come back to correct here, and you buy. OK, it's going to make a small correction. You are going to take a buy. Let it come down here between anywhere we break this low. You're going to look for buy. If it comes double low, you can see price rejections here. 
you never break this law. So you're gonna put yourself between this and the period in the pre, uh, current talk. Okay, we are here and here. We break this top, this one break this, this one break this. That means we are trending to the top. So get down there and go. So keep a close eye on this for the next move trade. Also, Chief, I will not say none because this trade is a trap. If you look at this trade, we have no history. So I'm not gonna say to anybody buy or sell, it's a trap because you are making lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, and lower lows. If you try to buy this and you keep doing this, you don't know where to put your stop loss. So I'm not gonna help anybody on this trade. It is not the best idea to trade it. Um, Aussie Yen as well. I'm still expecting more downside of this Yen pair, Aussie Yen, but for now, we can get, you can look for a short term buy. When you look at the four hour here, it's still ranging. So let's wait for this to give us a defined structure. We can come down here and we go up. Let this give us a defined structure. This is the top and it's not retesting and we all, both sides are in range. We haven't broken this, we haven't started this. So when we slide this, we wait for this to do what he's gonna do and then we are going. So wait for this to give us a clear definition before we take anything. Um, What if somebody is asking for password? Can you please put the password in the in the? Uh... Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, sorry, as, as uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. No problem. Okay. So let's wait for correction, and then we get in with that. We're gonna get in here, the sell, and then we go for the buy. So today we might be getting some sales on the Aussie yen. So we are here now, um, one hour. They say if you're gonna do, this is good, a, a, a bit too much informative, but I would just advise you that we are already here and here, okay? So I shouldn't have to tell you this thing. These are my secrets for my class. So you can get this sell to this side, downside here. Before you buy, be looking for the buy, okay? This is how we take some trades. So we are ranging. We have got a sharp move. We are waiting for Isaac and Abraham to meet and then we are coming down. Okay, so we are waiting for this. This is a nice sell setup. We can look for 15 minutes and just click a sell and put your stop loss here. You can sell and put your stop loss here. 20 pips or any pips for stop loss, 15 minutes. Yeah, this is a good sell. Okay. Take a sell now and then put your stop loss above here or you can put your stop loss here and this should be, as soon as we break this low, you can clean up and run or you can wait for him or you can take your trade off here. This is your target. So we are coming down. Okay, so it's coming. I hope you guys are in already. I mean, um, yeah this is a nice trade anyway very very nice trade let me use the That is my forecast. If you want, you can take it. And this is what I believe it's going to do. Okay, so this is a potential good pips. Okay. Um, the next, Aussie New Zealand, we have spoken about it already. 
So we are waiting for the market to reach the top here. I believe you can even put your stop loss here or here and take yourself if you have enough money. Okay, your stop loss here, if you do this, fine. But I believe this is coming down anyway. So if you take Aussie yen, don't take Aussie New Zealand. Take one Aussie. Don't take twice of this, the same pay. Take one and take different pay. Don't go for Aussie only. It's no good idea. Okay. This one, I saw, I'm looking for a bias. Aussie uh, dollar. I'm looking for bias. So this is just making a potential pullback until you're coping. So maybe it might be doing this. Then it's been up to retest these challenges here. Okay. So we can be having this one. Keep your eyes on it potential short-term sell, and then we go. If it's not, we do this, we wait for correction, and we are going. I'll be looking for the bias. I will ignore the sales, and I'll be looking for bias. Last night, I was looking to take this trade from here, before the news. And for some reason, I went to take the O's instead of this, because as soon as I get on the, from the bed, the market already starts moving. So I was in panic. Then I have to take one of the Aussie pairs. This has reached our target already, more than our target. So let's wait for a big correction pullback. We don't know how far to go, but the sellers are over now. So let's wait for, either it's gonna make a pullback, this is an expanding flat, we are here. So let's see what it's gonna do from here. If you make a range here, we can look for more downside. If you make a range here for the move up, we will let you know. For now, do nothing with this. Takash your money and run away. Bitcoin. Um, last time, we told them, take all your money from here and sell. So now we are here. We are making correction here. There is still enough room for this to come down here before we can look for a buy. Okay. So those who are in Bitcoin, this is the clear pattern. This is the clear pattern. We need to break this low. Some we have here. So keep your eyes on this for the downside. Um, card chief. We are also in the box. So what do we do? We will start looking for a move to the other side. Potentially, this is the target, okay? So this is daily, 15 minutes time frame. Let's wait for the trade to come down here. I don't see this breaking the low. So let's wait for him here. Then we start looking for the bias. This is your first target. Your first target should be probably here. Then the second target is here. So by Thursday, we will know what this is doing. On Thursday, this will give us a defined pattern. You can sell this to here, but like I say, I'm not gonna advise you to take only these few pips. But if it's in the direction of the trend, we can go for the buy, correction, buy, correction, and buy. So I'm giving you the market structure and direction that it might be going. You can see that we are still trending the low. We are still trending the low, 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 low until we reach here. So there's room for more sellers still here. So keep your eyes on this coming by. New York time or tomorrow, we might be having this buy. Cardian, the same. Cardian, I'm looking for buys. So it's already here. You can put a buy stop here. Or we look for what this is doing here. It's, it's going to come down here to give us Isaac and Abraham. They will take a buy. Okay. For now, it's going to make one more move down here. When you reach here, we see what he's doing before we're going to take a buy. If you look at the bigger picture, on the four hour time frame, we still have some few rooms for downside. 
but that will be the correction. There we are going. Can this be becoming a new beginning of a new buy? Yes, we can have this as a new buy. So keep your eyes on here. Or you wait until it gives us a clear defined pattern for us to take a trade. This is the green box. Okay, this is our target, expecting to complete this section. So this is a correction point here. Like what he did here. He can make a massive back pullback before the downside. That's how I was looking for this buy. For him to come and retest here and drop down before we go. So keep your eyes on this. Um, Chief Yen. Chief Yen. I'm, I'm looking for sell on Chief Yen. Okay. So he came back to the box in one hour. Yeah. So any sell set that you're going to get, you take it. Like I said, when it's like this, don't look for bias. Only sells. Wait for correction, pull back, and you sell. We have got it pull back. We start looking for sellers from here. Because there is a great potential trade that is coming. It's already cooking. So keep your eyes on it and let's see what you're going to get. The next one. This is a very great trade. This is very good trade. Um, I think I have been, we have been cleaning this for a while. This is where it is. So let me use the MACD and see what's doing here. Yeah, there is more room for downside. Okay, so go for the downside. Yeah, there is more room for downside. Enough downside to come to this level. This is our target. Okay. So we are coming down to reach this low. So every cell setup you're going to have, grab it. Don't waste time. Take it. We are ranging at the moment. It's making correction. So let's wait. It's making correction. Between here and here. We've got a boot up here, so we need to come down here. Then from here, we can make a decision to come down. Okay, this becomes your A. This is making a B wave. Okay, this is your impulse. A, this is the B wave, and you're gonna get the C wave. So this will stay here for some few times. What you do, you take your trade, you reach here, you close your trade. You go up again, you close your trade, and you sell again. That is what it's supposed to be. So it's making the corrections here. It can do this and come here and then drop. So keep a very close eye on your setups. Very, very good long-term setups. Euro O's. Euro O's is also looking good for downside. Um, earlier in the morning, we were discussing this. So what do we do? We are waiting for, this is your target for today, okay? Today, it might finish here. So maybe you might do this and come down here. You take your money because it's gonna range again to this level before you drop down. And this becomes your running flat in the middle. Okay, so wait for this to finish its correction. If you want to sell, you have, this is very baby pips left now. We can still climb down without, go drop down without giving you this correction. It can be doing this small one here and drop. So any cell you're gonna have here, it is not ready. I'm waiting to get a crossover of the MACD. If I have the crossover here, I might be able to use it to enter the trade. Because now it's doing this, it will do this. It will range here for a while before it will drop down. But if I wait for the MACD crossover, I might be able to get a very good downside. But you can see that it's still we are in the extreme level. It hasn't given us the downside yet. It has not confirmed the downside yet. Okay. So in case we have double top here, you sell. Okay. Keep your eyes on the um, next hero card. Also the same. 
it's also in extreme. So we, as well as we haven't broken this low, it is still a buy. So this is too much extreme for you to look. I will not advise you to go for buys for now. It's going to be looking for sales because we have, we are almost having double tops of this side. Okay. So be careful in your buy. If you are in a buy, take your money and wait for pullback because there is a free range of a heavy liquidity here. That's the market might be dropping with that challenge. It's gonna drop down here before we go up. So keep your close eye. If you are in a buy, take your money and run. Euro chief is still a sell. If you look at the Euro chief, I'm expecting the sell to finish this where the arrow is. And you can see that there is a free room for this, a pool of money here to take. So keep looking for sales. Don't go for buyers. If, if you have a sales to be low here, you're gonna clean this for almost the whole sale of a month. Okay, so keep your eyes on this sale. They are very good potential sellers. Um, daily yeah you can say i think it's almost dropping again today um yeah yeah i was trying to catch it from the top here but i missed it we get it from here and now we are coming down okay so if you have euro is getting weak so i will say look for yourself so right now 15 minutes time frame we get a pullback we sell it yeah we are double low it's gonna make a correction here make a pullback here to this level or here you make a pullback you sell so wait for a pullback here in 15 minutes time frame wait for a pullback before you sell then this became this becomes your correction this is your first move one, two, three, one, one, two, three, and drop. If you get this sell, you can hold it. Those who like to hold trades, you can hold it. And then we go. Um, Euro GBP. Also, we still, it's still a buy. Euro GBP is still, for me, it's still a buy. Though it's making a correction. So let's make this correction towards this level and you buy. Okay. Let's make a pullback down here and then we buy again. That's our bias. Always keep looking for the bias on this trade. Don't look for sell, just buy. So for now, you can put a buy stop here. When you buy here, you, come, you close your trade, it comes back, retest here, you buy again, you close your trade, come back, you buy again. Okay, so if you look at here, you bought it, it came back, it came up, it came and checked the low without breaking the low, it's without breaking this low. I don't think you might break, ever break this low again. So look for your buy, even if you cancel your buy. Your stop loss stays here. Here we are. Rayan also is a buy. Okay. It's a buy. You can put you can put your buy stop here. Your, your target is here. You buy stop here, your target is here. You take your money. You will because this can be making correction back to this level before we go up. So keep your eyes on this. We go impulse one, two, three. We can come down here and we are going. So it's making a correction here. Let's see how it goes. Rural New Zealand, we spoke about it in the beginning that we are looking for the sales. Uh, Euro dollar, we are looking for a pullback. As far as I'm concerned, this has not given us a perfect pattern for a sell yet. It's just a pullback, and you can put your buy stop here. 
to come and break the stop because this is still making a correction. We can come and go. We go. It's still a buy for me. We need to wait for it to tell us whatever. I called this buy, I think, last two weeks in the news. I said, I'm buying. Then I posted it on the Telegram when it was here. So those who are in, we haven't broken the stop. So keep an eye. Let's break the stop and then we we'll see <coughs> the next target. Um, pound us, yes. This is the trade that we are still hunting him down. Okay, if you look at this daily, this trade is a very, very good potential long-term trade. Very, very long-term trade. Um, I spent time to work on this. Very, very, very. And if you look at here, we are almost about to hit the biggest downside of the year. If I'm not wrong, this can be the one coming down. This can even be the one. So every single sell opportunity that you're gonna have as a trader, take this. Every single opportunity you're gonna have, take the sell and hold it. If you're a long term, long term trader. Because if I'm wrong, we can drop down here. If I'm right, we come and bounce here and then we move one more move up before the final downside. So this trade is really, really important trade for everybody. So one hour time frame. It's very slow trade as well. It's been given, I'm, I'm in a cell. I took a cell here last night during the news. I had the cell. I had all the cells and then it hooked me up in break evens because I went to sleep. And in the morning, I'm still stuck in with some drawdown minus here. They tagged me somewhere here. And then I have in, I had about four or five entries. So I'm still hoping this do this and drop. But this is a big time downside. Those who are in the trade, we started calling these cells from here. Then I posted it on the Telegram group, sell from here. Then the news came, I sold it. So now we are making correction and we are coming down again. So keep a very close eye on this sell. This is a very good trade. This can be the trade that is coming for a long time downside. Okay, so keep your eyes on this. We're gonna have a correction here, we sell. Correction here. We drop. If you reach here, we take our money to see what he's gonna do in the range. Either he's gonna go up again and drop, or he's gonna drop from here. So there is two options here. The reason why I'm saying that it can go up again, not because uh, I don't know, but because there is still nobody know where the market will end. But if you look at the pattern that we are seeing, there is still enough room here enough room here. So I believe that this order that came in, we started already, we have already done everything except this section left. So possibly we can come and take it and then we sell again. So other than that, if this is the last order, then this is the one coming down. So keep your eyes on this. It's a very good sell. Pound card. Pound card also hits our block, our other section. I'm still looking for downside. So the pound card now, we can have a sell from here. This might even be the end of it. We can look for sales from here, sell stops here, because let's see what this is doing. Those who are a bit good knowledgeable about what price is telling us, we can keep an eye. We can keep an eye. Let's wait for this to break this low. When we break this low, it's gonna make a correction and we sell, okay? So keep your eyes very close. I hear here is double tops. We are seeing the range of double tops. So I would suggest a sell setup is great. Double top, if this thing come here again, sell again. 
Isaac and Abraham. You got it here. One and two. You got the one. You get to the second one and you sell. Okay? It's one more tip. I'll give you zero, one, two. Zero, one. Where is the two? It's coming. It can come here, come here, and give you the two. And they will come down. So keep your eyes for double tops and you sell. Chief. Pound chief. I'm still looking for a short term pullback and a sell. A short term pullback and a sell. Pullback and a sell. Because for the pound pace, I'm looking for drainage, very big downside. Actually, I'm look, this is what I'm looking for, for this thing to break this low. So we can keep an eye on when we reach here, we make a decision. Here will be a decision making. So keep your eyes on this for the downside. Uh, palm yen is downside as well. All the palm pairs, I'm looking for downside for the palm pairs, except pound dollar. That's the only pair that I'm not really, really, really. But when you reach here, we can look for a buy. When they can't say you can if you, you can start if you want to buy any pound pay we, on Thursday, okay, but <laughs> pound pay will move up to not today and tomorrow to be coming down to here. On Thursday, it will be going up. Maybe that will be a correction for the downside. But don't now it's a sell. So sell until we reach here. It will make a correction. They will make a decision from here. This is weekly time frame, okay? So this is a big move for downside, um, daily, yeah. We still have more room. Can we correction test here? We come down to here. Then we see what he's gonna do, okay? If you are not sure, don't do nothing. Take the euro pace rather than stepping in this one, then you get who. I was in this trade for some time. And when I came out, the trade decided to come. I was very disappointed with this trade. Very disappointed with this trade. I knew it's gonna do this. But anyway, experience is the master key. Pound New Zealand, look for sell. The same thing. Um, let's wait for correction here. This is also a potential good downside trade coming on the weekly time frame. We have already got the stops taken out already, okay? So now we've got stock taking, we break the top. This is a good trade that is coming. This is a potential powerful downside. That is coming. So keep a close eyes on this. Keep a close eyes on this. Um, very soon, I'm working on scalping. I'm trying to back test it professionally, properly, with some few guys as well. We are working harder. And when we are fully, fully, fully ready, we will start having scalping in the trading room live all the time. So we are not ready yet. Until then, we will let you know. So wait for this to come up here to fill this gap. There is a gap here. It will come and fill it, and then we get the downside, OK? So keep your eyes here. There is a great potential downside coming. Very, very good downside. Just take a screenshot of the weekly and you see your targets. And when you get this trade, just relax and focus on only one trade. Focus on only one trade. One. If you want to take this one, go to 15 minutes. If you say that, I want to take the pound New Zealand, go to 15 minutes time frame. And then any sell that you're gonna get, don't look for buy, don't buy this. Because you are looking for a moves like this, moves like this to come for you, okay? Moves like that. So anytime you get a double top, you look for yourself. Anytime you get a double bottom, you are out. So wait for the trade to do this, 
what is the name of this? We have Isaac and we have Abraham. Then he's going to give you the promised land. Okay? So wait for this to do this and then you sell. Because you don't know when this money is coming. Wait for this to come here and sell. Wait for him in 15 minutes time frame and you take yourself. These trades are very, when you get it, 15 minutes pullback, we come here, we get the first move, 15 minutes pullback, you sell, 15 minutes pullback, you sell, 15 minutes pullback, you can have multiple entries. But when it's ranging like this, yeah, sometimes we get trapped, like what I've been trapped in New Zealand, or oh, pound holes. I've been trapped in since last night, but it will change. I'm more confident in my trade, so it will change. Pound dollar, I took some few buyers um, yesterday and I closed them. I had some buyers here, some buyers here. It comes here, I'll buy again. Okay, so buy orders. When it comes down here, buy again. I'm expecting dollar weakness this afternoon. So anytime it comes down here, I'll buy again. If I'm right, look, we are making, we have never break this low. Let me let me hide everything there. Let's see um, if we have we are making a new bias or a new yeah. We touched it. We didn't break it. Okay, I didn't go. This is not broken. So this one and this one. So now anytime you're gonna have this again, you buy again. You go zero one and two. We are going third time. We are going to get this move. You can get a buy for now for the pound dollar. Um, for the pound dollar, we can get a short term buy just to come and maybe test this top. We are between here. When you are buying, put your stop loss in the lower time in the lower part of the of here. Your stop loss here about 20 pips, and your target is here. Because when you get this one done, we are getting the downside again. So keep an eye on this sell, uh, on this buy. Um, New Zealand card. Okay, we are almost there now. I'm expecting this to reach this box. We've been looking at this from here. I think we started this year from here and sell limits and we are here to this level. So let's look at what happened here. Before we make any decision, we're gonna take the money from here because we got Isaac and Abraham. Okay, we're gonna get the buy. So keep your eyes here. New Zealand chief the same. We're gonna start looking for the buyers. We are already in the dead zone. We're already in the dead zone. So here we can be start looking, planning our life for buy. So keep your eyes here. It's not ready. There's small pips left, so I can't say much because it's not ready. Maybe Thursday, we should be able to have what he's doing for that. Okay. Um, New Zealand here as well. The buy is almost cooking. Uh, it started already. This is very very interesting. Um, you put your buy stop here on this trade. Everybody, those who want to put your buy stop here. That is your first buy stop. If this thing come down here, it's not going to break this low. This is what is called order block. I can't go into details. It's the buy setup that is coming. So what do we do? You wait and go to lower time frame to look for your orders. Okay. So we get retracement back here. Retracement back here. It's not going to break this low. Then you start buying. So your buy stops here. Is very very. This is very 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 good setup. Actually, I'm gonna buy this when the time comes. If I get any of this for the direction, I'm going to buy this seriously. Um, if I'm not sure, let's fill this gap. Yeah, it's exactly. Let's fill this gap. It's gonna come and fill this gap to this level. So probably it might have come here. 
for tonight and then your buy stock is here clean this buy okay this is a very 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 good trade trade setup for the buy okay market structure just told me now okay so we're gonna be looking for the buyers very very good buy very good buy if you don't take it this will be the one to come back to this box this will be let me move this this might be the one coming to finish it if you are not wrong so don't miss this buy the same way i told you don't miss this sell the same way i'm telling you don't miss this buy because this is about to hit up okay um new zealand dollar the same the same thing new zealand dollar is ready to go up so what do we do the same scenario don't miss this buy Don't miss this buy. It's about to hit up. So keep your eyes for this buy. It's in the buy range. Isaac and Abraham. Let's go for the buy. Um, USD card. We are looking for the sellers, but this guy decided to pull back big time. Okay. Yeah we can come up here possibly before he comes down the way he's going we might reach here then we come down or we can come down here make another move up and then we come down but i'm only looking for the sales because the usd card also weekly it has given us a great potential downside coming this is it and you cannot miss this sale you cannot miss this sell. This is very, very good sell. We are ready to call, come down. So it's making lower time frame correction and there is coming. So keep your eyes on this. I was expecting this to come straight and break this, but it didn't do it. It's just giving us a little bit of correction, like what happened here. So let it finish the correction. And then if you are in a sell, hold it. You hold the sell because this is very good trade for almost two month sell. Okay. Um, chief dollar, USD chief. Yeah, I'm looking for buy. Um, I have some buyers. I'm out of it. Last night, I started buying this from one hour time frame. Yeah. I have some few buyers from here. I buy, buys, buys. And I took some of some are still in my stop losses here. So this comes here, we are going. So if you want, you can put your buy stop here and let this do what he's doing. Because this one, you will never be in the market if it goes against you. But when it comes here, double bottom, look for your buy. Every time you see spikes, you see rejections. We are seeing spikes. You can see that the tops are very strong, close, but the bottoms are spikes. Look for the buy. Um, USD is up. Also the same. I'm looking for sell. So what is this doing? I don't want this to break this. This man, I was discussing with some team of guys in the room before you guys came in. And we say it's not gonna break the stop. If this thing drops down from here, it confirms the downside straight away. Everybody has to sell. If we break this low, it will confirm the downside. Okay, so keep a close eye on this. We don't want this to break the top. If you come here, it's gonna come and finish here before it comes down. Other than that, we are looking for the sales. So um 15 minutes it might be the going as well it might be the one because we can have this like i said we are not going to break any this is a running flat 
for further downside. So your stop loss here, you sell now. Your stop loss this year. There's quite a few spread. Why they widen the spread? So I don't know how much is your broker, but you can take a sell now and let you go. Your stop loss can be here if you don't mind. But for this, unless you put it here in the correction, then you see. But your stop loss, if you break this, it's coming go up. But for now, your stop loss here is coming down because I can see. Um, Yeah, we are on the pinky line. Okay, so possibly this is our tag first cell and this is our second cell. Okay, so we wait for this to, to make a, an impact before we take a right. US oil. Very, very interesting. I was looking for US oil for my broker because I never found today somebody good, my, my, my good friend showed me. So, what we're doing now, US oil, everybody keep looking for buyers. This is a very good buy. Remember, I've been telling everybody, we're just gonna look for buyers, 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 buyers. Since we were here, we started looking for the buyers when we were here. We missed this. I updated the charts and I said we are in the buy zone. So now, what do we do now? You can also focus on only the, the US um, oil, just focus on it and then buy any trade you're gonna get from here. Okay, um, so possibility. This is where you're gonna buy. So let this come down to this level. Then you're gonna buy, okay? So keep your eyes on this buy. Um, one hour. Keep your eyes on this buy. There is a good buy. If you are not sure, you can put a buy stop on top of uh, on top of the current price. When New York opens, you are in. So I'm expecting him to come here, then I'll buy again because I'm looking at this as a pattern of a flat. One here and one here. Impulse A, B, and the C. Then we are going. The same thing he did here. Or you can see this one and this one, the same thing they did here, and they came down. Okay, so they do a certain type of pattern, but they're gonna come here first, and then we buy. So keep your eyes in the range, buy stop is here. When it start going, you don't close it. Just keep adding more buyers. Keep adding more buyers for this. Um, gold. Gold is a buy, okay? Uh, I'm looking for buyers on gold. I'm looking for buyers on gold. Gold has to come and then we hide between here and here. So whatever is happening to gold here now, we are making an opportunity to either come down one more and go. This is what it's gonna do, okay? So wait for the gold. If you want to buy gold, wait for gold to come here. Don't just buy here because it can do this and drop down and go. And you're gonna be a big loss. So I'm waiting for gold to come here first. Then I'll be looking for my buyers. Give me a four crossover here, which is to break this low. Give me one more here and we are going. The same as applied to silver and nothing else try left. So keep your eyes in the potential trade that I said. Um, yes, USD try. Yeah, um, that's nobody here trades that. Somebody was asking the other day. So USD Mexican, um, all of these are coming down potential sales now because I was waiting for this. But the thing is I miss so much trades. So what I'm trying to do is just to focus on those that I have planned in myself, Aussie, Pound, USD card and USD are Euro New Zealand as well. These are the trades that I will literally be focusing on to see if I'm gonna hit them back. So keep your eyes on all of this. They are very, very good trade setups. So I will stop the recordings. And then 
if any 